Guess what? We had to come back to the yard that y'all just seen. Look here. Lost the key to the trailer lock again. He does that all the time. Like all the time. So he gets to be on the walk of shame. Look at him. I don't know where they at. I don't know. Let me look under here because I wasn't never under that truck. Because why would he go under the... What, where you... <laughs> Why would he go look under there? Look at him. I've had to change whole sets of locks a couple times already because of that. I'm not kidding either. He loses more keys. I have never met somebody that loses keys like that. Never. So, yeah, I stopped short from where I parked so he could look under the... Look at him looking under the van. Like he go in under the van. He's gonna keep doing his arms like that. Like, oh, I can't find him. He's probably weed eating the next yard, and we're gonna have to go back to the next yard, and he's gonna walk that whole fence line. There he goes. Where Roy stops, nobody knows. Okay, he's getting all serious now. I wish GoPros could zoom in. He's like he's gonna give up in a minute and he's gonna What? Is it in the around that fence line? It's in the grass at that other house, I bet. <laughs> now see this is the real lawn care. This ain't no what do you call that clickbait this is the stuff that you go through it ain't that bad it could be worse oh my dang oh my dang safety glass i got three polarized husqvarna mirrored husqvarna and then harbor freight yellow ones for when it's dark and it works good these dark ones if you look under it one more time you might find it You keep looking under there. You know it ain't under there. It's very amusing for me, though. He even had it on a little thing, a little hook. Who knows with you where the other ones go over the years? <laughs> I'm still looking for the other ones you lost years ago. And then I had to buy a whole nother set of locks over and over and over and over. Now I'm gonna have to buy another set of locks. I got four locks with one key now. Luckily I got another pack of those locks at the house already. They're like 20 bucks and I just throw them away. They're useless. Cause somebody has the key to it. Of course, you know, those things ain't very, I mean, they're good, but all them padlocks aren't that good. I don't care what brand they are. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know, man. I thought we'd sit on the floor. <laughs> yeah, the walk so of shame. Hard, my teeth going to fall out. <laughs> it's funny how I keep making all these little videos. Roy's blowing off on this one. I may or may not have showed this one before. But the neighbor's got this old gravely back there for the sulky that you ride. Beautiful machine. He was like, there's a property dispute between this fence and that fence and that guy. This is a different person. This guy mows all that back there. You hear it gravely? So, do you not hate getting in the middle of that? That's the question for this video. What do you do? I talked to the owners. The owners tell me not to worry about it. It's their property. He told me, Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. He's the nice one. He said he'll do it. But then you got this one. We didn't have an altercation exactly. I just don't put up with people. I don't not try to sound tough or nothing, but when, if you come at me with negativity, you're going to get it twice as bad. And that's just the mountain way. Up here, we're the nicest people in the world until you disrespect us. That's why everybody here is like that. Not just me. I'm not a bad butt saying. But you ain't gonna do it to me. 
this guy was awesome. This guy. So, well, I mean, we get along now. He's talked to me, but he wants to mow all the way up against their fence. You hear that guy? He's just got too much property. So, I'll just start mowing it. That way, he comes at Roy last time, so he'll come at me this time. Everybody always goes after Roy. Always a little guy. Yeah. It didn't work though. It didn't work for him, did it? When Gargamel come over at me. First time I seen a lawnmower like that, it was pretty wild. Bro. I love that mower. I heard the name before. That's an old, old mower. I figured it was, yeah. Do I need to push, are you unlocked over there? Oh, no. Hang it on. I don't even try. Yeah. So let's talk about that a second, what I was, that was earlier today, about property line disputes and stuff. Which there is no dispute. Somebody's just trying to take land that's not his. That's what's happening. But you know, that puts you as a lawn guy. Ow. Freaking neuropathy. Anyway, that puts you in a bad pickle because you're the one that's there all the time. You know what I'm saying? So what would y'all do? I know what I do. I'm going to appease the other homeowners. And just start a whole war, I guess, because it's not fair from the other guy I said he was going to mow it. He ain't been mowing it, so the guy that approached me today, the other neighbor I've never talked to, real cool, had a gravely with a soak it. I don't see it. Make sure my music. No, it's still going. Up church, baby. That's why I'm wearing my ghost ranch shirt. He was awesome in concert. You know, before this happened, when he becomes a concert again, I'll go, but. What do y'all do with your property disputes? Sometimes it's you can't handle it and sometimes it's just best to leave. And I mean quit doing the property if it gets too bad for y'all. There's nothing worse than stress. I had one call claim there was some damage done to the house the other day and luckily I have pictures and documents. And Roy even remembered, he's like, that's been there. I said, I know. What would y'all do about that? Would you give a free mow just to make them happy? You're giving your product for free. You can't say would you do it at Walmart because Walmart and places, everybody wants to use Walmart. Well, can you get it free at Walmart, blah, blah, blah. You have a personal relationship with these people and you're actually going to their property, on their property. So everybody using the Walmart analogies for everything, it's good in some instances, but this, you're in their turf. You're in front of these customers' face. You have a personal interaction. And there won't be another employee there next time. It's you every time. Unless you've got employees there every time. That's different. So, what do you do there? I think I done told you what I did with both. Hello, Skaggies. I still want a Husqvarna Stander. I don't know why. I think that's going to be my next mower. Five-year warranty. Big block. It's got the bigger block than this one. One more horsepower and a lot more torque. But I forgot what I was going to say. Love my skag. Still sticks to heels good. I was going to talk about another little issue. Pro Cut talked about his power loss. That ain't why I'm mentioning this. It's because I always want to tell everybody I put three inch wide blades. That's what they tried to sell me at Skag Dealer. And I told them the dealer argued with me. I said they're two and a half. So I had to prove myself. So they even sell three inch wide blades. And if you get the ultra high lift, this mower is almost useless. I remember when I put them on, I pulled it up and I was cutting weekly lawns, you know, just a third off. And that one lawn I was on was even anemic. And it was like, ooh, it's like the whole power just bottomed out. I said, something wrong with my skag. And I put the two and a half, that's what's on it right now, the skag blades. This will handle those three inch ultra high lifts. This won't. That is an absolute fact. Did you lose the blower while he was over there? Yeah. He's on a roll losing stuff. Yeah, let's see. That's a gas show. I heard we get next time. Oh, well, we don't need gas no way. Who the frick needs gas? We're just mowing lawns. <laughs> Need no freaking out. Now I gotta look at for the gas can to make sure it's there. <laughs> it's there. Huh? We're fighting the rain, so we're in a hurry. Peace, chicken grease.
Look at my goofy self. Because this is the only rain jacket I have. One of my real nice Nautica jackets. I had to use it raining in the rain. Raining in the rain. Working in the rain in Tennessee. Now we in Virginia. Y'all have seen this place before. Apartment complex. Roy's blowing off. So I'm having to get it messed up again. I'm sick of rain. I try not to say stuff like that because it usually goes polar opposite, like goes to a drought or something, but that's all it's done all winter. We ain't had a lot of snow, but it sure did. It's starting to rain again. Anyway, I'm in a market for a new mower. What should I get? If they had the 37 horsepower V-Ride 2 out, 52 inch cut, I would get it. The 61's just too much. See this? This is this whole area. This is flat compared to Wise County I'm mowing. This ain't where like I'm live in Tennessee. I mean, this is way worse than Tennessee. I could use a bigger mower for easy, but these, it's just rough here. It's just, the mowing's totally different. So 52 bottoms, I mean, it's too big almost. So, but it's hard to beat. You know who Svarna's standard is 54 inch, but it's hard to beat that five year warranty. Skag got a two commercial. Who's Varna's five year commercial or residential or homeowner? So, but gosh, do I love Skag's mowers. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Good Lord. She just slid through that mud, cuz. Yeah. Biggest up. <laughs> Wonder if that's that real nice dude that's got them German Shepherds or whatever. not passing pass anyway who's varna might be the way i go i'm looking at ferris too i don't know look how pretty it v ride is though what i'll be back